the uh, Iranian government at the time uh, wasn't Ayatollah Khomeini, it was a, a prime minister and a, an, another set of political leaders. They immediately tried to negotiate the release of the Americans. But in fact, there was a lot of support in Iran for keeping these hostages because it was a way of, of um, saying no to the US and it looked for a lot of Iranians as a way of, of trying to fight back while the Shah was, it was in the US. And for a lot of Iranians, it really looked like we were cooking something up and putting together plans to come back and overthrow this very, very new, fragile revolution that was happening in Iran. Ayatollah Khomeini was a very astute politician. And what he saw, that these students had taken the, the embassy, and that a lot of people were now coming out onto the street and sort of coming up to the gate and saying, hey, this is a good idea. Ayatollah Khomeini said, well, I'm going to support this. I am not going to support the government that's trying to get the Americans released. I'm going to support the students who are following in my precepts and so on. And I'm going to say, yes, we should keep the Americans hostage because uh, they have the Shah in New York. They have this long history of treachery with Iran and using its power against Iran. No one had really stood up to the U.S. in that way before. And it was such a bold thing to keep Americans and not let them go. And as the U.S. was reacting hugely to that, that also fed a dynamic and it fed the enthusiasm in Iran that after everything that the U.S. had done to them, they were actually able to cause some, some pain and humiliation to the U.S.